All right, this is going to be my sort of final update on the pirate ship lower deck scene before I do a render review for the Blender Challenge. So this is my final uh, Blender file. And what I've done is I've created just a, a render of that. So there's, there's the Blender render. And uh, yeah, it looks okay. Maybe the lighting could be worked on, but I actually wanted it like this because I knew I wasn't gonna keep it like this. All right, I actually, ended up doing this and it's a very stylized kind of uh, look this is what I wanted to do for uh, for this scene and I've used a, a couple of different uh, pieces of software to to do this image and then I have one that's slightly different from another angle which is this one which has a different but similar kind of um, almost hand-drawn effect so I wanted to do something different for the challenge so uh this is my main one is this one right here that's the one that i uh prefer and that was going to be my main render and of course i've done the other one other one as well uh so just quickly to show you um what i would have done um i i'm going to come over here to try to find my render all right so this is the original render and what i did is i opened that in gimp Okay, and then I did a couple of things. And I think the first thing that I may have done is just do a little bit of unsharp masking. Just a small amount. And then come over here to desaturate, color to gray. And here you can adjust how you want it to look. I'm just going to go with, um, with something like that. All right, at that point, I wanted to adjust the levels just a little bit. So I just pulled up the, the dark a little bit on the on levels. And also curves, just drop the whites a little bit more. All right, and then uh, I'm just gonna overwrite that. So that's done, I don't need GIMP anymore. Now, the next thing is the software, Topaz Studio 2. This is for sort of photo editing, essentially. And I would take that, and I would take the original, bring it in, and I can crop at this point. I think I probably did, so I'm just going to, I just want that cropped, and just pull it up to here. I just want the edge of the curtain, so I'll apply that. And Topaz Studio, you have a number of uh, filters you can add uh, or looks, and this is really what I what I used uh, to get it started. Now I did a few different manipulations, and so I'll just show you in general. You can take a photograph and you can apply uh, a particular look, and then you can adjust how much of that you want in there. So let's say I did that, I'll apply that, and. Um, I can't remember exactly what I did, um, but I'll do a little bit more. I'll just show you a couple of different things. All right, as you can see, you can add new ones. You can adjust how much. Maybe if you like that look, you could do that. There's 100%. I could come over here and add precision detail to sharpen things up. If, if that's you know what you, you think think it needs I can add uh, color if I want it more of a sepia tone that kind of thing so working through various looks and filters I came up with my final render uh, of that and that's what what I wanted to do all right so that really concludes my series on the pirate ship from uh, modeling to final render. And of course there is a ch Blender challenge uh, that, that is uh, going on right now until the end of September, around sub Saturday, September the 30th. Uh, the challenge is ships, so it's not necessarily pirate ships, although there are some. And I will be doing a render review for that and posting it here on YouTube. And of course uh, the whips and the renders are also on the Zero Bio Discord. I'll leave a link in the description about that. And uh, after this is done, we'll, uh, we'll start another 
challenge. And I will probably do more of this kind of thing rather than the straight uh, Blender renders. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the series. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And I hope you'll tune in for the render review. And I'll talk about that uh, coming up soon. Thanks very much.